Okay, for the problems that we've done so far in this section, we've considered problems where we have the epsilon and delta are not given. This time, we're actually going to do a problem where they give us what epsilon is. So again, epsilon is like the difference in the y direction, the error, how far you are away from L. So again, these should always be pretty small numbers here, and in this case, uh, it is 0 .002. So we have two different things that we have to do, so let's do the first part. We want to find an open interval about x of o, which is given as negative 2 here, in which this inequality holds. So in order to solve that, what we're going to do is we need to use this right here, and we want to plug in the information that's been provided with this particular problem. So we have everything that we need in order to plug in, so we're going to do that first. So I have absolute value, f of x minus l, so that's 2x minus 2, and then minus the l, minus negative 6. Uh, and then that's going to be less than epsilon, which is given as 0 0.02. So what we have to do is solve this equation for x, and then that's going to give us the interval that they're looking for here. So when we do that, we have 2x, and then this is a plus 6 and a minus 2, so plus 4. We need to get rid of the absolute value, so we have to change the absolute value into an inequality. We've done similar technique before and, and some of our other problems. So to do that, you're going to make this negative point, negative point zero 0.02 less than 2x plus 4 less than point zero 0.02. And then from here, we need to subtract 4 from all the sides. So if we subtract 4 uh, from everything, then we're going to get this, negative 4.02 less than 2x less than negative 3.98. Okay, so that's what we get when we subtract 4 uh, from all the sides. We get this here. The last step you want to do is divide everything by 2, and then we'll finally get our uh, interval, negative 2.01 less than x, less than negative 1.99. Okay, so then the interval itself is going to be this, negative 0.201 less than x, less than negative 1.99. So you're uh, basically, this is the, the, the amount of difference that we are in each direction. So this is our the first interval that we have here. This is the interval about about negative two on which the inequality holds. So basically, we got to be in order for this tolerance to be true here with an epsilon of 0 0.02. This is how far off we have to be in the x direction. So now that we're done with this part, let's take a look at the second part where we got to look for the delta. Okay, for the second part, we want to give the uh, the delta here and we have to satisfy this particular inequality. So we have information to plug in for this. We have the x of o, it's negative 2. So if you put negative 2 into here, you get x minus negative 2, which is going to be plus. And absolute values automatically they are going to give you something greater than 0, so we don't need to actually write the 0 in this case. We can write our problem as this. Absolute value x plus 2 is less than delta. So again, it's plus 2 because you're putting negative 2 into here and you have a double negative there, that's why it's going to be uh, plus. Like the problem we did before, we're going to turn this into an inequality. So I have negative delta less than x plus 2 less than delta, and I want to once again solve for x. So I'm going to subtract 2 uh, from both sides. If you do that, subtract 2 from both sides, then what you're going to get is Negative delta minus 2 less than x is less than delta minus 2. Okay, so you're just subtracting 2 from every, every place because you want to get x by itself. So now, what you're going to do to solve this is previously we already solved this and we got our, our interval here, negative 2.01, negative 1.99. Okay, so what you're going to do is each of these endpoints here, you're just going to set to each of these. So we're going to take negative delta minus 2, set that equal to negative 2.01, and then delta minus 2 is going to be equal to negative 1.99. Remember, be careful with the numbers here. This is a smaller number. The smaller number goes with this smaller number. The larger number goes with the larger number here. So make sure you don't get those confused. You want to make sure you have it, uh, this inequality written in order from smallest to largest. So once you solve both of these, then you're going to be able to get well, what delta is, and you should get the same number uh, for each of these. So if you add 2 to both sides, negative delta is equal to negative 0.01, and 
and then dividing both sides by negative will give you 0 0.01. So that's going to be what the delta has to be. And notice if we were to add 2 over here on this side, we would have gotten exactly the same answer. We would have gotten also uh, 0 0.01 and then that would be your answer. So uh, if the epsilon is given as 0 0.002 for this inequality to hold, that means this is what your delta has to be. So your uh, we have a delta greater than zero, which it is, that satisfies this equation, uh, allowing that inequality to hold.